almost immediately upon coming to America, it flashed on me that the genius of the modern world is machinery. The machine has become more than a mere adjunct of life. It is really a part of human life, perhaps the very soul. In seeking forms through which to interpret ideas or by which to expose human characteristics, I have come at length upon the form which appears most brilliantly placed and fraught with symbolism. I have enlisted the machinery of the modern world and introduced it into my studio. Picabia apparently did indeed see beauty in machines and it came from personal experience. He adored automobiles and his widow said that he owned 107 automobiles or something like that. I don't know where she got the number, but he, he adored machines. And some of his paintings exhibit uh, a sense of, of ascetic uh, respect for the machines so that uh, he's dealing with machine looking parts and he actually uses metallic paint, silver and gold metallic paint that looks, gives them a suggestion that they are machines or might be machines. And they're very crisply designed, uh, a machine aesthetic. Perhaps inspired by Duchamp's earlier exploration of machine forms, such as the chocolate grinder, Picabia took the idea of machine as art object another step by giving his artwork enigmatic and provocative titles. This had the profound effect of conferring new and unexpected associations upon the image. For example, one need only look at Picabia's ink drawing of a spark plug, titled Portrait of a Young American Girl. Even though there seems to be an admiration for machine aesthetics in some of them, they're going to be titled and inscribed in ways that are very provocative, seem to have nothing to do. We might say, this is, this is God, or one is watch out, watch out for painting, or whatever. Strange inscriptions, this is a portrait of Marie Laurence House, or this is a portrait of Stieglitz. Uh, you know, that's not a portrait of Stieglitz, Marie Laurence House. What do you mean? You're deliberately uh, befuddling or misleading us or teasing, toying with us. Apparently he's much more concerned with the content, with the symbolic functioning of that machine, than with the design of the machine. And then at the same time, uh, these machines uh, almost never look like real machines. They're very, very <laughs> funny contraptions. They are non-functional contraptions. I mean, there's no machine like that. If you could plug this in or, or strike the spark, how in the world would this function? And there's no way. You know? So they're, they appear to be mockery of machines as well. Many of the images were published in Alfred Stieglitz's magazine 291, named after the address of his gallery.